Hello viewer, welcome back. Um, this ash uh, bowl that I was trying to make a hollow form out of and uh, I showed you on the last video it sort of had a nasty catch and it ripped the mortise apart so I've redone that, redone the mortise, just re-skimmed the bottom, took a bit off. I've opened this up a bit now because I can't do hollow forms with such a small opening. I haven't got the experience for it. But I'm going to try and turn it into something uh, with a wider opening and I might even put a little lid on it yet, I don't know. I'm just going to have a go at hollowing this out first. So I'll get it on the way. I've started using this Sorby hollowing tool now. Um, I've got the blade quite short so I don't get any too much vibration on it. But that seems to be getting round in there quite well and I can always lengthen that if I need to. So I'm going to use this for a bit. You've got to have this dead on the centre line because you won't get any decent cuts with it otherwise. Yeah, this seems to be working okay at the moment. I'm not going too fast, I'm about 650 revs, something like that. But uh, it is digging quite a bit of wood out. So I'll carry on with this. Seems to be getting somewhere now, but I've now swapped over again to this swan neck. Got a round tip on it. But this will allow me to get even deeper. I should be able to sort of finish it off with this. As long as I don't get another catch. Yeah, definitely going to continue with this for a while now. I'm getting right under this, this rim now, so I'm not doing too bad. Right, progress so far. I keep alternating between this swan neck round tip and this hollowing tool, which I've now extended a bit because I've gone in a fair way now. Um, when I want to dig quite a bit out, I use that, and when I want to smooth it off more, I use the, the round one. I am getting in quite a way now. Yeah, I've got about a half inch to go. Feels like it all the way around. It's difficult to get the camera in to show you how far it's going in, but uh, there's some idea. I'm actually getting there. And I took it a little bit deeper as well because it was very thick on the bottom. So it's just a question of patience, patience, patience. And uh, keep working it nice and gently. This is the first time I've really had a proper go at hollowing out. I've, I've played around with it before but never got very far. So it's going to take some time. But I'm determined to get there this time. Make a bit of a success out of what uh, flew out of the chuck originally. I don't know what finish to put on it yet. and I don't even know if I might just put a lid on it. I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. See you later. <laughs>
that's better. That's a lot better. Right, just speed it up now. We can put some nice finishing cuts on it and then sand it down. Right, sand it down just to 240. And um, I've decided, seeing as it's ash, it's going to be black ash. I think. That looks all right, doesn't it? I'm going to let that dry now. Give it another coat. And I don't know whether to apply a bit of liming wax to that to bring that grain out. I'll see what it's like when I've uh, give it a second coat. Right, we'll have a go at liming this, I think. And the liming wax you've got to work sort of against the grain. Don't be afraid to use quite a bit of the stuff. Go across the grain all the time and hopefully it helps lift that grain up. There's not much better wood than ash to to do this on. Right, and when you've got all that plastered on, you're supposed to leave it about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then get rid of it with a soft cloth. Then you polish it, if it's worked. already quite a shine coming on that but I will put some polish on it and uh, see how it turns out you do get quite a bit of the, the black coming off when you when you remove the liming wax That's quite a nice effect. Just a light liming, just to bring the grain out a bit. So I'm going to carry on polishing that up now. I'll put another coat of uh, Wood Wax 22 on. And then I'll give it a coat of Micro Crystalline on top of that. I found a little piece of ash that I can use as a lid. I only want it this, this big, I don't want it to cover the whole top of the bowl. So I've just been mucking around with it, trying to get it the right size, so it just fits in. It doesn't have to be a tight fit, just quite rounded off there anyway. I just want it to drop in there. So I'll carry on working that. And uh, see how it goes. I'm just turning a little mortise in here for when I can turn it round in the uh, chuck to finish the top off. 
So I'm just going to dome that out a bit now, as long as I've got the jaws right, that should be okay. That's got rid of a lot of the unwanted wood, now I can start thinking about putting a bit of shape on it. I think I'm going to just round that off slightly and uh, then put a little knob on it so you can lift it off. Something like that anyway. <laughs> I just want to see if it looks sort of in proportion before I go any further. Yep. Right, it's got to go a little bit lower, I think. It's just still a bit too high on here. This, this wants to be a quarter of an inch thinner. So I want the profile of this to more or less follow the profile of the bowl itself or whatever it's called. Dish, bowl, box. So I just keep taking it off and uh, having a quick check and see what I think it looks like. Now that's a lot better. A little bit more off and I think we'll be there. They can start they can start putting some finishing cuts on it then.
some coal. Yep, I'll get that sanded down, I think. It looks okay. Now, the next thing is... What colour do I do that? Or shall I leave it like that? Or shall I do it black? <sighs> I'll have to have a think. I caught you then, trying to get a sneaky look. Well, that's it. I decided in the end, as you can see, to leave the top as natural as I possibly could. And uh, I toyed with doing it black. In fact, I did the little uh, handle bit in black to start with, but uh, it just didn't look right. So, I didn't even put sanding sealer on the lid because I wanted that darkens the wood slightly and I wanted to keep it as near natural blonde as I possibly could and uh, I don't think it looks too bad actually now it's on there it's not a tight fitting lid I didn't want that it just fits nicely in that little rim and uh, that's it is it a bowl? Is it um, a dish with a lid on? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to think of a title for it before I put this video up though, obviously. Anyway, that's today's little project and at least I know I can hollow out now and um, made something out of last, one of last week's disasters. So, I'll see you all soon for the next one. Bye for now.